All right, the debate on whether or not the crystal glue cell has water in it or not probably will never end. But I'm making this video to further demonstrate that there's no trapped water inside. Well, per se, there is no trapped water. I'm saying, in fact, that there's no water needed to keep this cell alive. And most people think that there's trapped water inside the glue itself. They're saying the glue doesn't fully dry because it's trapping water in between the electrodes or underneath the glue. I'm here to show you guys that is not the case. Uh, what I did is I took this cell and I cut it in half. And you can see, uh, you probably can't see it too well, but that's it. It's dry inside in the middle. I mean, you can't can't really do anything. I mean, it's, it's, I squeeze it, nothing comes out. It's dry. So, but the point is that people think that there's water trapped in, in between right there. Where, right where the electrodes are and that's why I'm getting voltage well it's not it's actually the voltage or the power comes from the skin of the crystal itself and not in between the electrodes I'm going to demonstrate that with this voltmeter here what I'm going to do is take this one I'm going to set it on top of this one and you'll be able to see that we can get a voltage so if I get these guys close enough all in one frame here put this guy on that guy you can see we get 1.37 volts. I mean, I can do this anywhere on this crystal cell itself. And do it down, do it at the bottom. And you can see we get voltage, and it's no big deal. And before the cell was actually, this is how the cell used to look. Then I took scissors to it and. Uh, cut it open like that so people would think there would be water in between right here there's not I can get voltage anywhere on this structure so I mean I don't know how much more proof you guys need and then there's also the reasons for the trapping of the water they say that the Epsom salt and the glue okay are the reasons so I may need a cell which is just glue and that salt there's no salt substitute so this is not a crystal glue cell this is a dead cell this is proving a point this cell is only Epsom salt and Elmer's glue okay people say either that a the Epsom salt is leaking water due to it has water in its lattice this is not true uh, and also they say that the glue doesn't dry completely so that's the reason why I'm getting voltage but if you hook it up to the voltmeter we will see that we get 0.48 volts this cell was created on 3.11.12 and so you can get a picture of how quickly it's drying this is a glue and Epsom salt only cell and today's date is the 16th so five days later and this is what we're getting pretty much nothing in voltage okay people think that the Epsom salt is leaking water from its lattice this only happens when you heat it up but if it's in room temperature like this is it's actually doing the quite the opposite it's actually absorbing the water that was in the cell this is just a theory of mine and it's, that's why it's completely dead or I, I don't know but the reason why this cell works is not because the Epsom salt is leaking water and it's not because the um, glue has trapped water it's not because of that and salt substitute really doesn't have any water to begin with so you can't draw a conclusion from that it, uh, Elmer's glue and salt substitute cell only cell does the exact same thing as this cell is doing it's dying off and I can show you guys if I cut this, these cells in half and remove the um, remove the two, remove the two electrodes away from each other and and put the other one on top of this one. The effect happens on top of the skin of the crystals itself, not in between the glue. So um, I really do think this is something interesting. And I know it doesn't give me much amps, but I'm working on it. Uh, I got a new idea here for a bigger one, and it'll be really lightweight and hopefully cheap. But it's, it's just testing and. And I think I really have a sound concept. So, I mean, the biggest factor is that I don't have to add water to the cell to keep it alive. It 
keeps itself alive and it will recharge itself after you deplete the power from it so I don't know I think it's a really sound concept so yeah